Ooh, ooh, raise your hand if you already knew it was coming. Raise your hand, raise your hand. Shut up, we all knew it. Hey guys, so I actually got to see episode 20 of Supernatural season 11 and holy shit, that's the episode you do after I leave, after I move up to 100 mile, that is the episode you do. Thanks a lot, Supernatural. Holy shit. Well, this episode just confirmed what everyone has always known. Chuck is God. Well, yeah, that was pretty much, you know, it wasn't really much of a surprise. But the fact that they confirmed it was like, ooh, because we've always had that kind of wonder for the last little while. And what we find out is God has given up. Literally, the fact that was we already got all this exposition from other people saying, oh, God's given up. Oh, he just doesn't care anymore. But this was it. He actually says, I'm disappointed. And Amara's here, and all she does is destroy everything I make, so whatever. And the whole episode was really, the brothers were dealing with the missed stuff again, but they again were sidelined. And that's something I really enjoy, that they've done this in this show sometimes. The real main characters were Metatron and Chuck. And the conversations between the two was very interesting. It actually made me like Metatron again because it... It showed who he used to be, because when we saw Metatron in the first time, I actually liked the character, but then when he went to be an asshole and a bad guy, I don't know, I thought he was a weak villain. But to see him on this road of somewhat, actually basically coaxing God back into doing stuff, that was actually really well done, and I really enjoyed that. I thought the chemistry between Robert Benedict and, I can't look up his name because I don't have the internet right now uh i thought they were very good i thought he and metatron really worked well off of each other and there were some really funny moments but also some very interesting insights and i think they couldn't have handled it any i think they handled it probably the best way they could have honestly i think that was gold every scene with them was perfect i loved it i thought it was great i thought some of the jokes were amazing there is one funny thing though that actually was happening during Sam and Dean's whole issue going on with the town of the smoke. They run into the into the police station and the, the smoke's coming. The smoke's totally coming and they walk into the police station and they don't bother to close the door that's right behind them. Like, meh, whatever. It's only a fog that's killing everyone. What if? Either way, I thought this was one of the best episodes in terms of dialogue between two people, now what I mean is mainly because the episode is controlled mainly by Metatron and Chuck, and they had fantastic dialogue. However, the entire story with Sam and Dean was really not anything. There nothing happened. It was basically a rerun of the first episode of the season, which was a rerun of Croatoan, getting it right this time, and really, nothing really happened with Dean and Sam until the end, and it explains so many different things that was very... I liked how this episode did pull into a few things that have happened in the past. Also, also, God wrote an autobiography? That was hilarious! So, Admittedly, while the Sam and Dean part of the episode very is passable, it's until the very end, nothing really matters between them. You're completely focused on Metatron and God. I can't believe I'm saying that. Anyway, guys, this episode, episode 20, gets a 6 out of 7 from me. I'm really happy that I was able to watch it, and I found someone who I can possibly watch the episodes with on the day of... Yes! So... That's a good thing. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review, and I'll talk to you guys next episode.